Hey, hey, there you guys are. Welcome back to another episode of Beer Geek Beer Reviews. And today I'm going to be putting this said beer into this said glass. I know the glassware does not match and I don't care right now um, because of the fact that I want to get this into the glass and let you know exactly what I think of this beer. Um, the reason why I took this beer is because of the fact that I just did a review on a, a Jackie O's pumpkin beer. And one of the comments was, well, where's the would you? Well, I found the would you. And this not only is the would you, but it is a bourbon aged, bourbon barrel aged version of the would you. It is a wheat wine style ale. And uh, there are some definite floaties at the bottom. Um, some sediments. I'm, I'm not really worried about that. It might cloud it up. It might add a little bit of chunks to it, but I don't care. Um, the one, the only thing here that I could possibly find on their website is the Would Ya? And it just says it's a wheat wine style brewed with Ohio honey and aged in bourbon barrels. So there's not much on this beer whatsoever as for information. Uh... I honestly don't know what else to say about it. I mean, they just give the little disclaimer, um, their, their stuff right there. You can pause it and read it if you would like to. Um, but I, I've been looking stuff up about this. I've wanted to find out where, um, the honey comes from in, in our region. Um, I, I wanted to find out what kind of, uh, bourbon, um, this was aged in. But I still can't find very much of anything. Um, I did not contact the brewery or the, you know, at least the tasting room. Um, so, with that said, let's go ahead and pop it open. There it is. A little bit of smoke on that. And let's go ahead and pour, shall we? It should be. Ooh, look at that coloring. That is definitely honey. It is very, very dark. Looks a, looks a little watery. I would expect that, especially from a... Oh, bourbon aged there's probably already some floaties in there I'm trying to be gentle um, oh yeah they're gonna be in there um, with that said ooh, I can smell the bourbon from here um, as you could see look how dark that is I, I actually expected it to be a little bit lighter but do you see that coloring down there that is almost like a reddish color hue um, definitely a darker style Definitely unfiltered. I can still see um, a, a mist. Maybe, you know, just a few little specks here and there. But look how dark that is. Um, as for head, dissipated rather quickly. This is a whopping, I believe it's 11%. Yes, it is. It is definitely 11% at a 12.7 full ounces. Um, Jackie O's makes some phenomenal things. So I, I'm just right off rip before I even taste this or even get an aroma, I'm going to say this should be a phenomenal beer. So with that said, let me go ahead and get an aroma, shall we? Very woody. There's, there's a big wood aroma. Barrel aging, definitely. I can smell honey, I can smell vanilla. Um, let me focus in on this. Let's see. There we go. I'm definitely getting some of that aromatics from the barrel. I'm definitely getting a little bit of vanilla. I'm definitely getting that honey. Maybe a little bit of the malt characteristic. But with that said, man, let me go ahead and get a taste on this beer, shall we? Prost. Ooh. Ooh. This is definitely a sipper, folks. Um, I don't say that you're going to get a lot of the alcohol. Definitely that 11%. I don't say that it, it is... It's on the palate. It's there as a cleanser. Um, because if not, I believe that this would be very, very cloying. Um, so with that said, let me go through all the flavors that I'm getting off grip. I'm definitely getting that bourbon. The bourbon is very strong. Um, it's there. It's nice and smooth. There is a load of vanilla in this. Um, the honey does add some residual sweetness to it um, that I had found right off rip. 
Um, there are a little bit of malt characteristics there. Um, you're not getting the, um, uh, the, like the graham cracker or the breadiness or any kind of flavors like that at all. So to me, this winds up being a very complex beer, but as a very unique and easier style beer. Um, as for the wheat, it, it's, it's there. Like I said, you're getting a little bit of that, uh, the, the like, crackery or malt cereal notes um but they're they're very very faint they disappear rather quickly because that bourbon tends to take over like nobody's business yeah definitely it, it's it's a little sweet it is How do I want to say this? It is a little sweet. There's no bitterness to it. But this is one of those style of beers that I would say that showcases bourbon barrel aging perfectly. And by that I mean you're definitely getting all the notes from the bourbon barrel aging. You're definitely getting the wood. You're definitely getting vanilla. You're getting the um, aged oak. Um, you're, you're getting... How do I want to say this? You're getting a little bit of, say, a char characteristic in the background. Um, you're definitely getting that honey. And as for the wheat, I think it's there just for a, a base uh, wheat wine beer. Um, you're not getting any kind of whiny characteristics. It's more along the lines of the honey itself that makes it a little bit sweeter, kind of like wine. Um, it, it might have had a lighter um stylistic body when it first started out but maybe over the time that it was in the barrel um i believe that it said it has spent uh 10 months elevating with this rich caramel and honey characteristics which it does i mean i don't want to say that the, it, it has a lot of caramel um but there just is a, a hint um that bourbon kind of overpowers a lot when it comes to this beer um, so if you guys get this beer, no right off rip that it is definitely a bourbon and honey flavor, you know, libation. So expect this beer to showcase, like I said, a lot when it comes to the bourbon barrel aging and you will get some of that residual honey flavor. You'll get some of the malt characteristics. Um, it's like I said, it's not over cloyingly sweet. But the sweetness is there, and there is a load of bourbon. So with that said, man, hey, if you guys get this beer, or if you've had this beer, let me know what you guys think, man. I, I really did enjoy this. This will be a, a top when it comes to some of the wine styles of beers, per se, um, as of right now for me. So let me know what you guys think. You know, Thumbs up if you like the review. Thumbs down if you dislike it. Hey, let me know what you guys think about the beer itself. Peace, pro deuce, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys again later, man. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and remember, always drink great, amazing craft beers. Peace.